Dogon 23755 Black Hair Math Math Your Brain Web Why do we call it 23755? Uh, 23755 is a, is a code. Pretty soon you're going to see what we mean by that. And uh, the code is uh, to uh, balance the two brain hemispheres as you see the left and right brain here. And here you see what we call the brain web. The brain web is like a spider web uh, that is designed to create balance um, between the two brain hemispheres, the left and the right brain hemispheres. Now, um, the reason why we have the five five is, like, as you see on the uh, web itself, is to create emotional balance for your child. Uh, we know for sure that you don't have that emotional balance at all, and that's the reason why uh, your hair is uh, not uh, according to what it should be in in its natural state, and so therefore uh, you have many many problems. Uh, you can't even help your child at all. Your child is having problems in school and your child is failing math particularly uh, simply because you also failed math. And the reason why you failed math is because uh, you were told as a black child that your brain couldn't, couldn't perform math functions. And so you uh, gave up on math when you were going to school and today you don't have the foundation to help your child and that's the reason why we have uh, 23755 black hair math my ass now why do we call it my ass not math well the word mathematics itself came from my ass my art is the law of equilibrium that we created we african people we created math my art and so my ass means balance equilibrium and so as you see in the brain web here you see the numbers five on the left hand side and five on the right hand side and then you see the numbers three three on the three on the left hand side and three on the right hand side so and then you see two and seven uh, what we are demonstrating here like I said it's a code it's a Dogon code that no one knows but the Dogon but I will just give you a hint about what it is uh, the five uh, represent emotional balance so uh, if your child is having uh, emotional uh, disturbances this is the math that we begin to settle him down uh, because uh, with the threes now the threes are implemented in the code uh, to get your child to uh, be begin to resolve uh, the imbalances that he or she has so the system uh, we then uh, work with the two brain hemispheres so that when the right brain hemisphere is producing a lot of serotonin uh, through the pineal of course uh, when the pineal produces serotonin it goes to the right brain and then the right brain excites the emotions the anxieties uh, the out of control behaviors etc uh, the left brain then will be activated because of the threes uh, that we implement implement into the functions that will provide your child in the math in the math and that we settle your child down so uh, we are uh, the Dogon, uh, we know uh, uh, everything that there is uh, in the universe about how uh, we bring things to stability. Um, and primarily, of course, when you talk about uh, math or math, you talk about algebra, and algebra is an equation system where you have a left side and a right side. You know, for instance, you say x equals. Uh, 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 three, uh, three y plus seven, or something like that, or y equals three x plus eight. You have an equality, and that's what our brain web is all about. Until you understand that uh, equality system, uh, you will have difficulties in terms of learning. So that's why the uh, MAAS uh, system is very, very important. The African MAAS. This is the system that black children uh, will learn by most effectively. Uh, because it is inherent within black within the black gene, blacks are not succeeding academically in uh, a Caucasian educational system because uh, we can fit. It's like they say you can't take uh, a, a a round peg and fit it in a square hole, or a square peg in a round hole. It just won't fit. So we have to come up with our own way of learning or teaching our children. And that's what we have now. You see the uh, brain up there that is covered in green. Uh, 
well uh, you you probably have seen the video that we have put up already that is about black hair and all the greases uh, that uh, are put into black hair and uh, what that does is that it cre creates a layer between the scalp and the brain itself and that's the layer you are seeing right there so uh, one of the reasons why uh, blacks uh, really destroy self destroy themselves is because of the fact that uh, at an early age like I said earlier uh, they go to the school system and they are discouraged they say you will not perform well in this particular class so instead of you learning math math they say go play ball so the black the black male children go play ball they all want to be like a, a, a Kobe Bryant. Uh, of course, you now, in your days, it was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Abdul Magic Johnson, uh, Michael Jordan. You were told to go uh, become like those guys. And uh, as a woman, you were told to become uh, like uh, Aretha Franklin, Diana Ross, and so forth, the Jacksons. And so all of these things were imposed on you, knowing that uh, your ability to get to those situations will be extremely difficult so uh, now you are confused and so you continue to go in the same direction of the same deception that the school system put into you so you uh, go and use these destructive things on your own hair and when you do that you stop the intelligence that comes from the universe that must enter your brain how is that intelligence going to enter your brain when you have all that grease? Look at the grease uh, that's covering your brain. How is that intelligence going to enter your brain? It's not going to enter. And so your pineal gland is all kicked. It's all calcified. Your pineal gland, my sister, my brother, your pineal gland is calcified. Well, how do I know that? Well, you take the BSI test. Take the brain stimulation imaging test. It will show you. Now your child will go to school and they will tell your child to uh, go to the ADHD group, this low learning class. Why? Well, they have already classified your child that his pineal gland is all calcified. Well, is that true? Uh, that's the reason why they labeled him as ADHD, because they believe that his pineal gland is calcified. But do they have any proof? Do they have any proof? Ask them. Anytime a teacher tells you your child is suffering from ADHD, how do you know? Well, it's, just, it's not just the behavior that's going to show that. Let them show you proof that in fact your child has calcified pineal gland. Now, if your child has calcified pineal gland, then definitely he will behave with, with that ADHD and anxiety problems. Well, we can verify their test. They may be right, but don't take their word for it. Take our test. Take our pineal gland test. We have our pineal gland um, tester gauge that we show you if your child has uh, ADHD problems or not. Anyways, uh, we are available. I'm Professor Momo uh, from the Dogon University of Thought. You, you can send me a contact uh, information uh, so that I can get back to you. Many parents are now getting back to me and uh, wanting to know more about our system. So. This math, math that I have developed is called the Dogon 23755 Black Hair Math. Is to address you, my sister. Is to address you, my brother. Come back home to your beautiful black hair and come back home to your natural intelligence. And we'll, we'll keep talking. I'm Professor Momo, Dogon High Priest.